hello guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to review evolution x rom which is based on android 12 so this rom has both pros and cons and the cons are uh, made similar to ROS, which i have reviewed few days back so i will be dividing this video into pros and cons section so i will talk about cons first and then pros so it has a lot of pros then cons so let's start the video <music> So let's talk about the cons first. So this ROM has one big major problem which I have talked about in ROS. So this ROM also randomly freezes and reboot itself which is quite annoying when you are doing something um, important on your phone and your phone freezes and randomly reboot and you lost your file. So that's happened with me. So if you are flashing this ROM keep in mind that so this ROM has this problem which is very similar to ROS so i am having this kind of issue on this roms uh, previous roms i couldn't get this kind of issue but in uh, in these two roms i'm getting this random reboots problem and another big problem with this rom is that um the gcam so it has miy cam built in so it's working just fine it's a good camera and it can take good photos but when you open uh, gcam so you can take photo so it can take photo let's i have taken a photo and as you can see the photo is like this maybe um, it's the the version i'm using it has some problem or maybe um, the rom has some kind of problem uh, that cannot support gcam so because um, i have installed this gcam in few other roms and it just worked fine and I have been using this gcam for nearly one year this version of gcam and it's working fine on all those roms so these are the two problems i have found on this rom so keep in mind if you are flashing this rom that uh, it has the major problem of random reboot and also i have gcam issue maybe if you use another version of gcam you will not get this kind of issue or maybe not it has some kind of problem with the uh, uh, rom because i haven't tried it so i don't know about that so uh, let's now talk about pros so it has a lot of pros rather than con because um so the pros are first of all the ui the ui is purely stock you are getting few apps and also you are getting one more apps which is like called papers as you can see here the papers app actually uh, comes with some wallpaper if you want you can download this wallpaper and put it on your uh, phone and so this is the one extra app i have found on this phone and beside that you are getting a lot of features so you are getting um so if you open the setting you will get the the evolver so if you go to the evolver you will get a lot of settings uh, like you can change your themes status bar buttons and and it has built-in gaming mode also maybe so as you can say it has a game space so if you are a gamer or if you play games i think maybe if you turn on this one you will get much better gaming experience as i don't play game on this phone or in this phone because it's not a gaming phone it's just to use uh, for basic uses so i don't really play games on this phone so still um, if you are really in, into the game or if you play game on this phone just turn on this one maybe you will have some uh, benefit of uh, recording and other things and other things like theme you can use pure black theme so if you turn off so you will find a grayish theme actually so if you turn on this one as you can see it changes a lot of thing and you are ha you can change your status bar icon and other things and if i go back here you can choose the power option power menu everything is there so if you are into it if you want to tweak a little bit your system ui or phone ui you can change it and the battery is good very good it's not that bad it get uh, i didn't find any kind of issue with this rom about slow charging and other things because i have uh, got a comment about the rom has slow charging problem but i didn't get that problem on my phone so uh, maybe uh, if you are flushing this rom try to flush it clean installation because i told in my installation video also please try to install a clean installation because otherwise you will have some bugs or problems so as for now the battery is good quite good and it charges well 
and it can it can uh, stay a long time actually so i have been using this rom for three four days so i know about that and about settings so if we check our uh, version and other things so it's as you can see it's evolution x rom and the version i have i'm using now it's 6.5 and android 12 so if you are flashing please check uh, which OS you are flashing and the re because the review is based on 6.5 maybe in feature update some of the problems solved so and the, the other things is that um, we are getting june 5 2022 uh security update so it's quite updated actually so it's it's this month like only two weeks ago was built so this is an un unofficial build but it works quite fine and other than that which you cannot find on most of the rom nowadays is that you are getting um another feature is called security option if you go you will get even um face unlock so uh, with the uh, what is called in with your fingerprint unlock you are getting face unlock too so i haven't tried it but uh it the, the feature is there maybe it will work rather than that like fingerprint is working just fine with my, with my finger as you can see it's quite fast and it recognized fast it has no issue with the fingerprint and other things and rather than that it's quite good rom i i don't have any kind of issue uh with this rom rather than the one major problem as, as i said it has random reboot problems so sometimes it just freezes and randomly reboot when it freezes you can't do anything it will reboot itself so that is a big issue and it's happened uh two or three times i think i caught it two three times now and it's in in uh arrow i didn't get this um this much random reboot in this rom which i'm getting so it's um, arrow OS, arrow OS was much better than this because arrow i got i think after using two three weeks i got two three random reboots but after using this from three days i got three or four random reboots it freezes and that's actually a concerning issue so if you are flushing this rom keep in mind that it has this problem so that's it for today i think oh, i no need to talk about everything here because it's quite uh similar to stock there is nothing new here and everything is there and also one thing is that if you are using this rom if you have a skin warning issue on your phone then use the settings given there because if you don't use you will get the skin burning issue so i put it on 230 230 230 and i don't get any kind of skin burning issue if you are having skin burning issue if turn on this um kkl future and just adjust your uh, display situation and other things according to your like and you will not get any kind of skin burning issue so that's it for today thank you very much for watching and i will see you next